Lewis. Professor Gerard, what are you doing here? I've got a small legal matter to attend to. Well, is it anything I can help you with? Actually, I'm here to speak with Harvey. Uh, uh, I understand. You're looking for a name partner. Well, you can't quite see it from here, but if you walk back about 10 feet, take a gander to your left, you'll see I've gotten a little I recognition. I appreciate that, but as I said, I'm here to speak with Harvey. Oh, look who it is. The woman who put me in my place. What now? You want me to sign a piece of paper admitting that I was the man on the grassy knoll? I meant what I said at the ceremony, Lewis. You mean the ceremony that you only had in order to trick me? I had it because you demanded it. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Jeff Malone. What about him? You may be aware that he and I are... Fifty Shades of Grey? I'm aware. I'm gonna let that go. Because you may also not be aware that I had to lie to him. He doesn't know about Mike, does he? No. But he does know you committed a crime and that you resigned, and now your name is up on the wall. What'd you tell him? I told him you found out that I covered up Daniel Hardman's embezzlement and that you used it to strong arm me. And now you want me to protect another one of your secrets? It's the same secret, Lewis. And you have just as much invested in it as I do. No, I don't, because I don't care if your relationship with Jeff survives or not. What do you want, Lewis? I want something for continuing to cover your ass. You got something. You got your name on the wall. And now I want the respect that comes with it. Meaning? I want one of Harvey's clients. Which one? That's between me and Harvey. You're giving me Henry Gerard. What? I saw him, I want him, you've got him, he's mine. It's not the way it works, Lewis. I'm afraid you'll have to find yourself another boyfriend. Oh, this is exactly how it works. You talked to Jessica, didn't you? Sure did, and she used me to cover her ass, so I get one of your clients in return. You want one of my clients? We can talk about that, but Gerard's staying with me. Oh, please. Don't pretend like you actually care about him. He can't even stand you. Lewis, I just offered to consider giving you one of my clients, so I suggest you let Gerard go. No, I'm not letting anything go because it doesn't make any sense. Not only can he stand you, he doesn't respect you because he's got things. What did you just say to me? I said he doesn't respect you. Well, you know what? He definitely doesn't respect you because when he told me he needed a lawyer, I tried to send him your way. And his exact words were, I don't want Lewis, I want you. Fine. Then I'll just take another one of your clients. You're not taking a thing. You just said that Look, I, I don't give a shit what I just said, okay? My clients are my clients. If you don't get out of my office in the next three seconds, something's gonna happen between you and me, and I guarantee it won't end with you keeping all of your teeth. Donna, I'm a little busy at the moment. Too busy to take on this? What's that? Just the first client that Jessica gave Harvey when he made name partner. Harvey said he wouldn't let me have any of his clients. No, he said he would, but then instead of taking him up on it, you went ahead and shit on his feelings. Please, Harvey doesn't have feelings. That's not true, and you know it. And you of all people should know that a person can overreact when they're hurt. If you're referring to me, I do not overreact okay, when Okay, whatever you say, fatty baldy. Okay, get the hell out of my office and it? Fine, you have a small legitimate point. I really hurt his feelings? Yeah. You really did. But then he realized he was overreacting and that this was a chance for us all to get back to where we were. You swear that is the first client that Jessica gave him after he made name partner? I swear. Leave me the file. I need cutie pie cosmetics. You want to try that again? I have a meeting with Joan Walsh tonight and I need her files. Joan is Harvey's client. Not anymore. Since when? Since it doesn't matter. Because I'm named partner, which means when I say I need something, your response should either be how high or can I have another? Fine. There are a few things that you should know. Macy, but... what I know is your boss seems to think all it takes to impress Joan Walsh is getting Donna to make a fancy dinner reservation but I'm gonna impress her with so much legal domination that by the end of the night, all she's gonna be able to say is Harvey Specter who? Okay, that's a mistake. A and mistake? I... Oh, I get it. You're trying to impress me with your legal domination to prove that you're not just a paralegal, but an associate. No, Lewis, See, I don't I'm care not... what you call yourself. So unless you did such a job, the files are unreadable, hand them over to me right now.
That's more like it. <laughs> and then I said, Helen, that's no Pomeranian. That's a Pamimo. You've been had. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Really, dogs, they're, they're so fascinating. Do you have many dogs, Louis? Hell no. Building regulations, it's a cluster. I've been fighting them for years. Oh, that's horrible. Yes. As is, what's going on with your stock? Oh, Louis, we're having dinner. Put that away. Girl, but I just thought you'd be interested to know that we could skyrocket the share right price. Right now, what I'm interested in is having another Manhattan and hearing what's on the dessert list. Oh, you don't need a list. Get the creme brulee. Now, this stock issue, I have... Fax the papers to my office, and I'll review them when I get home. When you get home? What the f... What the hell did we come to dinner for, then? For this. What this? This. Okay. I don't know how Harvey handled these quarterly reviews, oh, but I... Oh, Harvey was magnificent. <sighs> Truth be told, I was a little disappointed when I heard that you'd be handling this instead of him, but I haven't seen your cha-cha yet, so the jury's still out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lawyer joke. Yep, got it. <laughs> yep. Listen, Joan, I think you're gonna be really glad that it was me here tonight, because I already sent a letter to your board. You did what? I, I notified them of this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Why the hell would you do something so patently stupid? Stupid? Okay, I didn't become name partner being stupid. Didn't you? Two members of my board are about to reach their term limits. At least one is being circled by Glamour Cosmetics. You have just notified that person of a product that I've had in R&D for years. And now they can trade information for a seat on the board of my biggest competitor. Joan, I didn't know. Tell me, Mr. Litt, did you actually graduate from law school? Or did you just buy your way onto the letter? 